Okay, here's a patient really needed a complete denture. She only has five maxillary teeth, has gross carious lesions on a distal of a canine, and take a look at the wear facet on this bicuspid. I guarantee you that there was a wear facet in this area too. And she got, you know, gross caries in this area, probably due to packing food in this area. She only has five maxillary teeth, really needs a, a complete denture, can't afford it. This tooth is giving her some toothaches, so we're going to try to save her, uh, save the tooth so she can still chew something before she raises the money to get a denture. So what do we do? I take red border molding wax. This is after anesthetizing the patient. I put the wax into the defect, have the patient bite into the wax, go through excursions, and you can't see it, but I've actually picked up the wear fast set that extended from this tooth into the carious defect. We then work a mylar strip through there. And the reason for that is that I can't get the custom matrix material into the contact area because there's really no space in there. And I want that contact area to be smooth. So I put a mylar strip in there to make the surface smooth and then I inject the custom matrix material, the clear bite registration material, all over this tooth to pick up that surface that we contoured in wax and also adjacent to the mylar strip. So we pick up everything but the contact area in the uh, custom matrix material. So here we are, we've injected the polyvinyl siloxane bite registration material adjacent to the mylar strip. You can see some of the red wax through here. Now when you do this, it's important that the wax is uh, deformable, so I don't touch the wax with my injection intraoral tip when I'm injecting the clear polyvinyl siloxane bite registration material. That would cause a defect in my surface. This turned into a one appointment endodontic procedure, so I did a vital endo on this. We then put in some glass ionomer as a base. We put in composite, put the custom matrix back on. You can see the mylar strip through here. I've wedged it in the, in the custom matrix as I cure through it. And here's immediately after curing. And notice we have some flash here. But this flash here, we have some on the wedge, on the rubber dam, on the mylar strip. All that is easily removed. We remove some of the gross flash, and you're now starting to see a little wear facet created in my composite. Here we are after doing our finishing. And here's our little wear facet that was created from the opposing occlusion. And we have the anatomy on the lingual surface of this tooth, all created by using the custom matrix. Now, it's a case where this, I thought this might have been small, a small carious lesion. But notice when I made my custom matrix, I covered the entire tooth. Because you never know how far the caries is going to extend. Also, by picking up the entire tooth, that tooth helps index your custom matrix so it only fits in one position. And it will reproduce the exact surface texture and detail and anatomy that tooth had in its correct relationship.